Hey guys, Frozen X is here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to modify gun damage to blocks as well as entities, and also how to change the starting items that players spawn with on your server. Before I do that, though, I want to make a quick note that in my last video I said anyone who thinks this is hacking is a fucking idiot. What I meant by that, and I'm very sorry for those of you who are offended, was that if you're here trying to find a hack client or learn how to write your own hack client, you're an idiot and an asshole. If you don't understand the difference between modding and hacking, that's completely understandable. Not everyone understands that, and, you know, it's not really a thing everyone needs to know, but if you're here for malicious intent, you're an idiot, because this will not work on other servers. This will only work on your own server. So I'm not going to take back the statement that if you think this is hacking or you're going, you're trying to make a hack client, you're an idiot. But if you were offended because you didn't know the difference between hacking and modding, that's, and you know, that's entirely okay. Uh, the difference really is modding is for your server. It won't work on other servers. It's changing game files so you have a more enjoyable time with the game, things like that. Making a hack client, though, that is with the sole purpose of being malicious and griefing other servers. And again, you're still an idiot if you think that'll work because, again, for like the third time, it won't work. But basically, uh, I modified the pistol so it can destroy blocks. Uh, it still destroys trees. If you watched my last video, you saw that it wouldn't destroy like uh, rocks like here. I'll go over and shoot it real quick so you can see. I also gave myself a fire axe to start with. Uh, they're not very good because it's like level one and it honestly like needs it's it seems weird how it spawns i think there's something wrong with it but i'll figure that out and hopefully uh show that to you in another video because there's supposed to be a gray bar under here and there's not and yeah that's kind of an issue but yeah it destroys rocks now too that's kind of cool um but yeah i don't really think you'll be using this spawn items to give yourself uh fire axes and whatnot in the beginning of the game because that's that's kind of cheaty if you ask me, um, but you know, that you can spawn yourself with whatever you want. But like I said, this fire axe is not working right. Like it should be doing more than one hit and it has a level of one, but I think that's just like a quantity of one. There's no way to set the quality in the spawn menu. So yeah, I would, I would stick away or try and get away from spawning yourself tools. I would use this to give yourself more food or, you know, more water if you want. And same thing with guns. Doesn't work with guns. It gives you a broken gun that's put together, which actually bugs out the game. So you can't do it with guns either. You would have to actually change the game files, which that, you know, changing the actual code of the game is a lot more difficult than what I'm about to show you. I'm still looking into doing that, though. I, I might be able to show you a video on that later, but I would highly suggest not doing that on multiplayer servers because that will actually get you VAC banned. So anyway, I'm see you back on my desktop and I'll show you exactly what I did. Alright guys, and I'm back. Actually, this is filmed after I filmed the uh, next clip. I looked back at it and I didn't do exactly a great job at explaining this, so I'm going to do this again. You know, this is the second time recording and hopefully I actually get it right this time. But first of all, you go into your config folder. I show you how to do this in the last video. And you're going to want to go to Entity Classes and edit that with Notepad++. You're going to go down to line 45 and that is the survival multiplayer game mode which this is what you spawn with in a survival multiplayer game. The only difference really is that you spawn with a keystone block instead of a, or instead of not in the regular world, but sometimes you probably might not even want this keystone block if you're, because uh, this is the land claim block is what it's called in game. If you're playing with only friends and you're all living together, there's no need for this, but yeah. Uh, what you can do in here is you won't have that can of chili on the end, as you'll see you have bottled water, canned chili, first aid bandage, torch, keystone block, and after keystone block you can go ahead and put whatever you want. If you want to put a can of chili like I'm going to show you, you just put canned chili, and uh, if you don't know what an item is called in the XML files, go over to your items uh, config folder and just hit control F, and whatever you're looking for, say you want a fire axe, even though I, uh, it, you know, I'm telling you right now, it's not going to work right. You can't set the quality of them. So tools and guns and anything with a quality level doesn't seem to work very well when you try and spawn with it. If you really want one on spawn, you're just going to have to spawn yourself one with console commands. But 
as you can see it's called fire axe iron so if you wanted a fire axe iron you can just click back over to entity classes or you can go back here and right click and edit with notepad again and just it'll bring you to entity classes you can type in fire axe if I can spell fire axe iron with the capital I it is case sensitive so you need to make sure you have that the capital is correct but I'm just going to give myself an extra can of chili because you know the fire axes are kind of broken now moving on to the next thing that is how to modify the damage of guns I'm also going to show you how to modify the range of guns so you're going to go into the items folder uh, instead of clicking edit notepad every time just look up here and I'll actually even make this bigger for you I don't know if that'll help at all but as you can see that's what that looks like in bigger uh, screen or bigger, yeah, bigger font and it is line 45 just reiterating but once you want to edit your pistols damage and things you have to go to the items XML file you can open it again or you can just click over if you have it already open so first off you want to find your pistol and that's for the nine millimeter bullet bullet and here we are uh, actually one sec because I want to show you something that was where I needed to be but I just want to explain this alright so this is the gun pistol entity or property this is pretty much all the stuff we played with last time this allows you to change magazine size magazine items uh, in here is what you craft the item with you can change that to whatever you want but I'm just gonna leave that as it is repair tools if you want to learn more about that go watch my last video and this is damage bonus to head wood earth and glass now the thing about this is this is only damage to the head sure you'll do 600 times damage to the head but you will be doing normal damage to the body and this does not include regular block so if you put a place block down or there's any block that isn't considered part of the earth you will only do the uh, pitiful amount of damage that it normally does what you need to do is find the pistol parts section or parts pistol is what it's called so you're gonna control F and type in parts pistol with a capital P and you know I put an extra O in there because I'm an idiot and don't know how to type and once you're here you will see the pistol grip pistol receiver pistol parts and pistol barrel now the pistol grip is you know I later on I'll show you how to change the degradation of items that's not gonna be this video though it's pretty simple though the receiver this is how you change the range is under the receiver properties so once you're here the fall off range can be changed to whatever you want yours should is going to be 10 and 25 I just lobbed an extra zero on there and so now it'll fire 100 and uh, 100 blocks without losing damage and 250 blocks total uh, but opposed to 10 and 25 and you can make that as large as you want you can make that a thousand twenty five hundred but you can only fire as far as you can see obviously because if the environment isn't rendered well then you're just shooting into nothingness so the next thing is damage and damage is under pistol barrel uh, under here I've already changed it yours will start with 11 I believe and 19 for that and the block damage will be 5 and I think it's 13 I think I don't know what the exact numbers are but just make these numbers whatever you want and entity damage refers to the damage of or the damage you will do to an entity or a zombie a chicken a deer anything like that block damage refers to any player made block or any block that is not considered earth so prefab buildings uh, blocks that other players place down roads uh, street poles things of that sort things that aren't considered earth also uh, rocks and boulders are considered in here don't know why those are considered blocks but they are and that's pretty much all you have to do once you're done you just hit file save make sure you save it before you launch the game and I'll go ahead and launch the game again and show you uh, that everything works even though I've already filmed that part of the clip I'm had to go back and redo this one because I don't think I did a very good job explaining it the first time around anyway see you back in a second alright guys and I'm back I'm just going to go ahead and show you uh, that I'm spawning into the game and that the items spawning in work and that I didn't just use console commands to spawn them in on myself it only takes a couple seconds to boot up the game anyway if you did something wrong at this screen it will shoot you an error and you'll know that I done fucked up or, well you done fucked up because mine worked but uh, as you can see I spawned with two cans of chili 
I changed it so I didn't have that extra first aid bandage, yeah, because I'm an idiot, and, you know, I should have just left it there, but whatever. Um, and I'm going to show you that the pistol now has a much better range, as well as the fact that it now does tons of block damage. So, uh, give self, what was uh, I'm thinking, a uh, gun, pistol, I had to remember what the name of it is, 600, just give me the uh, highest level of it. And uh, I'm going to give myself a fire axe to get uh, things easier. Fire axe. Oh, wait, I guess put the axe into fire axe iron, 600. That'll allow me to get wood easier because uh, if you watch my last video, I changed the item that it shoots to wood. So, you know, you know, go check back on that video and you'll see how to do that. But yeah, see, this, this is how an axe is supposed to act. Not how, you know, the one at the beginning of the video was doing. But for whatever reason, when you spawn blocks or items that have durability on them, it's wonky. But before, you could only shoot the ground, but now you can shoot blocks, this, you can shoot here. If I uh, even shoot over here, you'll see that I'm a pistol would never normally reach that far. Uh, let's see, if I, I'm going to find the zero, 00 city and show you that it does more damage with a... Um, uh, like two zombies as well. This is pretty close. I uh, gotta make myself or turn debug menu on. And uh, right here. And this should be in a city. Is it? No, it's not. Uh huh. I guess there's no city at zero, zero, but here's a zombie. I'm just gonna go up and shoot him in the leg and show you that it's a one shot kill. Here it comes, and he's dead. Now, I guess if you shoot him in the leg, it's not a one shot kill. Hmm. That's strange. I wonder why it doesn't, uh... I guess it registers his leg. Because, like, see how his leg got knocked off, I guess? I guess it registers his leg as a separate entity than the rest of his body. So it broke his leg and not the rest of him. Which is kind of interesting. So I guess that means it's a one-shot if you shoot in the chest. Uh, I'm going to try and teleport around, see if I can find some more zombies. I will cut back to when... Actually, this is a town. I just saw a light pole. Where was that? Well, there's a deer. You can go ahead and snipe the deer now. If you can hit it. I'm an idiot. There we go. Hit the deer quite easily. I did see light poles, but, you know, here are some zombies. Enough of which that I don't really need to find a town. But if you shoot them in the chest, dead. Uh, but if you shoot them in the leg, let's actually try that again. Because it does seem like the game is registering the leg as a different... Yeah. Because the leg blows off, it's doing that much damage to the leg, but not registering it as a separate entity. Entity, but if you shoot him in the chest, the it's all the same zombie, so it's a one-shot kill. I'll show you again that you can shoot pretty much as far as you can see with this thing. The pistol would never normally reach this far, but I can take down trees from here if I can actually hit a tree. That's quite embarrassing that I'm missing trees. You can go ahead and shoot the zombies. Still one shot. It breaks whatever you shoot at. There's nothing that is, like, not going to work from this. But even over there, I guess that is a bit out of range. Let's see. Yep. Did you see that break? There goes that tree. Barely uh, in render distance. Try and take out this tree. Yeah, it seems like that. Yep. Oh, wait, no, that was a different one. Uh, yep. Still, it shoots way further than it normally would. And that's basically what I was uh, trying to show you. That uh, you can go ahead and do things like that. Modify the range of different weapons. Modify their damage. Anything you shoot now will break. Uh, one shot kill to animals and wildlife. If you hit it, that is. I'm still a terrible shot. Doesn't fix that, unfortunately. So yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed. And again, sorry about that uh, pretty uh, shittily experience explained statement in my last video about how if you think this is hacking you're an idiot again what I meant was if you're using these videos for malicious intent you're an idiot because it won't work and you're just an asshole to begin with so yeah it's just don't use anything you learn to be malicious in games like you know griefing is not it's fine it's entertaining for you but it still just makes you a dickhead you know it's not gonna make like what are you what's the whole point of it fake internet points like get over yourself so yeah that's pretty much it um 
I hope you, uh, again, I hope you learned something, and uh, if you want me to make a specific video, like there's something you can't quite figure out, let me know. I'll look into it, try and make a video about it. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to keep this series going. I don't know how often I'll be posting, and it'll be like maybe a couple videos a week. Depends on how much I play with it, because I pretty much just mess around in the XML files, try out different things, and if I think something's cool, I'll go ahead and add it to a video, but if I don't find anything, or I just haven't been or haven't had time to mess with the XML files, I won't put anything out, because I want these videos to be, you know, decent. Oh, and also, if you shoot cars, blows up cars, that's pretty cool. You know, one-shot cars, I thought that was awesome. I don't know if you guys will find that as cool as I do. Let's see, can I shoot this house? Yeah, I can. That's cool. That's really cool how far this reaches, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys back in the next one, so uh, peace out, and have a great day.